Indiana's largest festival gets underway this weekend, bringing millions to the Wabash Valley. Uh, the 54th annual Covered Bridge Festival kicks off Friday. News Ken's Kate Green made a stop in Park County as vendors were setting up their booths, and they say there's nothing quite like this festival. It's the sound people wait all year to hear. The sound of vendors setting up shop in Bridgeton for the Covered Bridge Festival. So this is my retirement. I didn't know I'd work so hard in retirement. Peggy Korn has sold baskets here for years. If you've had a really good week, tear down isn't nearly as bad as if you've had a bad week. But most vendors say no one really has a bad week at this festival. This is the prize. This is the Blue Ribbon Prize. This is my bread and butter festival. You know, even when the weather isn't so favorable, this is a really good show. So what's the draw? It may be your location. And I said, I'm right next to the honey man. Oh, I know the honey man. Blueberry, blackberry. Your product. It has brought in customers for me from other states, from Colorado, from California, from Florida. Or just the Hoosier hospitality. Everyone is so nice in Indiana. I think that's why most of my shows end up here in Indiana, honestly. All good reasons. They say it brings hundreds of tents, trucks, and trailers. It is worth it. It's worth all the hard work, the hassle, and the hours because of the amount of people that come to this festival. In fact, over a million people come to Park County every year. You'd have told me before I started this festival that you had one million people through these towns of 200. I just would have laughed at you. But what these vendors expect to see on Friday is no laughing matter because whatever it is that draws customers here has all these vendors coming back. I'm going to be back next year already. I, already can, I can already tell. In Bridgeton with photojournalist Nick Nabesny, Kate Green, News 10. And do you plan to attend the Covered Ridge Festival? Take our online poll by going to WTHITV.com and find more information regarding this year's events on Weblink 10.